Among the many differences between high school and college, there are a few that will take some getting used to. You'll find that you are going to have to relearn how to learn. Rewire the way you approach studying, because studying and taking classes in college is quite different from studying and taking classes in high school. That being said, a lot of these skills may help any high schoolers tuning in, but don't fret, we're going to walk you through it. Hi, my name is Mohika Nagpal, and I'm here to be your study buddy in crime. In this video series, we're going to talk about the differences between studying in school versus studying in college and teach you some new ways to learn. In this first video, we'll meet up before class and talk about how to even start studying before we even enter the lecture hall. When you were in high school, chances are you had all of your classes every single day or every other day if your school used a block schedule system. That means that most of your learning and reviewing happened in the classroom, and you practiced what you learned with homework outside of school. Alternatively, in college, you'll find that you spend less time in the classroom, and more of the learning may be on your own responsibility. Sorry, quizzes and tests are still part of the package, though. Another thing to perhaps unlearn. For a long time, we have thought about three modalities of learning. Visual learning, auditory learning, and kinesthetic learning. You may have heard people say that they are visual learners or kinesthetic learners, but a 2015 paper in the Journal of Educational Psychology debunked this categorization altogether. Rather, the most effective methods of learning use a mixture of visual, auditory, kinesthetic, active, and repetitive learning techniques. Now that we've graduated from the old, we're ready for the new. Let's get ready for class. Many of your college lectures will use PowerPoint slide decks, if your professors make these slide decks or any other lecture materials available ahead of time, access those before the lecture. If you're a pen and paper person, print out those lecture materials and add them to your binder, although many students prefer to use their laptops or tablets. Download those lecture materials ahead of time, and if you're able, preview them. This is called priming, and it helps connect with the material more during lecture. Next, set up your notebook whether physical or digital. There are so many different templates out there for note-taking. You can do the Cornell style, which splits your page into one-third and two-third sections vertically. The left side, which is the one-third side, is for writing main ideas and categories. The right side, which is the two-third side, is for writing out a summary of the lecture. You can do a simple outline style using bullet points or Roman numerals, giving you a standard and thorough layout of what was covered in class. Another option that takes a little bit of practice is to take notes in flashcard form during your lecture. There are various flashcard softwares out there, including Quizlet and Anki for two examples. One way to take notes is to listen for main ideas, writing them on one side of the flashcard, and then putting details on the other side. Whatever your note-taking style is, prep it before your lecture starts so you can hit the ground running. Decide whether you want physical pen and paper notes or digital notes. Both have their pros and cons. Digital options are more convenient, more accessible, more portal, and you may type faster than you handwrite. However, physical pen and paper notes have shown to engage more parts of your brain when you handwrite, increasing your retention. Additionally, learn whether your lectures are going to be recorded. This is really important because if you're able to access the lecture recording later, you may choose to treat the live lecture as a first pass and take more general notes, but then go back and rewatch the lecture later to fill in the gaps. In sum, the name of the game before the lecture is organization, organization, organization. Knowing what resources you have at your disposal, preparing them in advance, and having a system that works for you is going to gear you up to get the most out of your education. Being ready to walk into class with the confidence that you are prepared is important to your study success. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and share this video and follow along for the next part of our series.